Okay, we have already won everything. Hello and welcome, my friends. It's T1 versus Gen.G for the, what is it, fifth time in a row. For the last two years, these LCK finals have been this big El Clasico of the LCK. And like, sure, Genji, like, please move on. Please just give us another opponent in finals at some point, man. We are here for the sixth time. We were here earlier than you, so you can just leave. And uh, yeah, I mean, Genji is on the precipice of winning their fourth title in a row. But honestly, like, I don't even know what to say. Um, right? Oh, Draven. Okay, nice. We're talking about the pick ban in a moment, right? Because the road to finals for both of these teams was shaky. Right, Gen G, a close series versus DK. Jovi was forced to 1v9 versus Hangwa Life. And then T1, obviously, like the first kick in the balls, right? Versus Hangwa Life, the 0 3 defeat, disaster. Again, we can put some context onto that, but let's leave that for, for later. Then they destroy DK and even 4 0 Hangwa Life, right? Hopefully, you have seen the video. I've. I, that was a lot of work, but so T1, right, with a bit of a resurgence from the lower brackets run and Gen.G struggling at top, right, is that really the Gen.G that has won the last three titles simply because they had Zeri? Oh, uh, is, am I not supposed to say that? Oh, okay. Um, because now let's get into the ban and we have trapped mind control Gen.G, right, with our first picking of Kalista in the Hangwa Life series, Gen.G thinks that, that is a way to go. Sure, like Azia and Maokai, pretty good champions, but we've given over a stylistic counter to Azia, the Corky, and we have seen how overpowered, uh, ba balanced and well designed the CC kit of the Nautilus is, right? That champion is right now so busted because of its ability to lock down the tank shredders so easily. Rumble here comes in as well, blind picking top. That is something the Zeus has a warmed keen of doing. But uh, yeah, there are a few top lane. Actually, there's just one top lane ban here. The J is, but whatever. A uh, Viego also comes in, picking that away from owner. But like, bro already has something, right? We have to see what obviously goes into the support and what goes into the jungle position. Maokai and Poppy both are viable, like there. And like, like, obviously we assume it's Poppy jungle, Poppy support. Oh, I don't even know, man. Aatrox comes in, okay. Uh, like, okay, rough. The the issue here is, right, DK, it's not DK, it's Gen G. But, uh, okay, now with the ban out of, uh, pick, now with the pick ban out of the way, let's get in game number one and let's talk what this pick ban now means for our teams. Let's go, my friends, again, T1, T1, get, get that chanting ready, right, chanting the mantra, T1 fighting, and let's go, game number one. T1 fighting, let's go! Game number one, the draft, I mean, interesting to say the least, right, Gen G? What do they have? They have a relatively decent engage rage with the hands being thrown in by pace as well. Chobi rockets, you know how it goes, and Keen equalizer. So they have like some range tools, but not the best. They still have the Chobi poke. Do we have something to punch Chobi in the face? Sadly, we don't really, right? Zeus is really flank reliant. At least there's not much that can stop him, right? If Lehens is like like answering him on the flank, then it's like they have no front line really. So like there is a decently realistic flank angle. Owner and Faker have like a decent amount of CC uh, that they can obviously use in a like in some form of engage. But engaging into this Genji lineup, right? They are loaded with damage. It's going to be tough. Guma, I mean, he's just saying, Pace, what the fuck are you doing? That's bank skin. Why are you playing our skins? Get yourself your own skin. Oh, wait. I <laughs> uh, will, I guess, there's the, the Samson skins, if you count them. Well, regardless, let's just see. I mean, Keen moves into mid, the bot lane moves into top, and the Koki moves into the, the bot lane. Okay, very interesting. Zeus here is now, okay, he sees someone else. Uh, yeah, that is just unfair. Flash forward and I, 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 I mean, I don't know, man. It was like, bro, you see your. Uh, sure, like they get the flash, but it's like I don't know, man. 
smug playmaker here on the Corky, but he's already making an Indian's coming down too. Okay, there's the equalizer. Oh no, Faker, watch out. But uh, yeah, calm as uh, I don't know what is calm. People who are calm, they are. Oh no, 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 no. Man, Guma has to use everything to keep the stacks. And okay, Faker TPs. Double TP. Zeus also comes down. Can they get the play done? Or will they just flash away? They're turning onto Faker. Zeus though onto Chovy. That's the flash. Keen also with the flash and with the Swifties. There come. And that's the session. Let's go. Kill for Guma. Look at the gold, man. 700 gold. Suddenly the lead for our Guma God. Zero stacks. 983. Extra gold, 1k, mm, yum, yum, and the gold lead all but equal, not really equalized, but uh, they're getting closer, right? They're going to take care of that turret. They have six, six grubbies, so. Oh! Zeus, couldn't you have auto attacked faster? I, uh. It's, it's just a bit rough, right? These, like, early game, um, like, map movements by our opponents, right? Genji in this one, and Hangul Life in the first, first game of their series. Like they're cringe. Like stop, stop with this like lane swapping. Like just play us man into man. Anyway, let's see. Carrier just waves us. Waits. What are they? What are they doing? Oh God, my eyes. Like now you can't fight shit. Okay, cheeky little attempt there by Guma. But bro, you can't just use two ults before like you like you are even on the same screen as like the Genji. What was that? But yeah. Yeah, nice, uh, nice add-on, right? Maokai ult, and then what? Right? What do you do after Maokai ult? Okay, Faker builds a nice, beautiful wall, and he makes Genji pay for it. But oh, actually, there's Lehens. Oh, oh, great, great engaged champion. This, uh, this carry uh, guy, very, very good champion. They're diving the turret, but it's like there's no threat because T1 has no CC. Uh, again, T1 kinda overcooked with their draft, right? No CC really that is reliable. Obviously, Poppy Old is a game changer, right? It's like uh, there's a chance for that being uh, worthwhile, right? Here we get a little bit of an engage, but let's see more. I mean, so far not too bad. Both sides use their engage tools, but yeah. Uh, Pretty rough, right? TPs, heals used, cleanse and TP. Okay, that was a decent uh, in, uh, exchange here, right? T1 though, four ults used. Well, three for the other side, so it doesn't really matter, right? We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Next turret here on the chopping block. Faker and Zeus though will share, share the gold. So that's that. Still will put them a bit closer, right? We're still scaling decently well. And uh, yeah, now again we talked about. Uh, hopefully, I didn't cut it out. Uh, like, how does T1 play these fights, right? It's like, what is their engage? Maokai all down, and then Faker just slides into five people. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, that sounds like a reasonable uh, thing to do. Uh, no, not actually, right? And it's like Aatrox, Poppy, like they need like some some semblance of a flank angle. But uh, for a flank, you need vision, right? For Maokai ult to be like worthwhile, you need some semblance of uh, follow-up, right? But here, okay, the every ult onto carrier, he's already dead, bro, got one shot. Wow. And uh, yeah, again, it's like, what are we going to do? Like, nothing. We need vision set up for our flanks to work and to threaten, um, like, uh, Chovy, right? Because we have, oh, Lahensia might be caught or are we just overextended? Faker now is like, Let's see, uh, they've just flash away, Faker gets like one last shuffle in, but uh, yeah, now the desperation just completely got to them. It's like, my man, it's like, wait, what are we talking about Genji now? But okay, yeah, yeah, Genji, woo! Look at this, yeah, I mean, it's like Genji, oh yeah, we have a champion comp that presses R on the on target and then that guy dies. On the other side, hey, T1, off, oh, for fuck's sakes! Guma doesn't get the stacks because of Carrier's Ignite and now he gets killed. Man, I just... Ah, I'm getting so fucking angry again. It's the same fucking... Like, this Poppy is like... As you... Like, 
I mean, it's more useful than the fucking Scion of the Hangwa Life series. But that champion is just... Ah, it's just so ridiculous. It's like, I can't believe that Nautilus again is like the complete game changer in this draft. And it's like, oh, you, you might be saying, oh yeah, Pace is the one that got that kill. Or Chovy is like firing rockets. But... Like, the problem is that we don't have a champion like Nautilus and the enemy team has. They have a way to completely CC chain people from range with, like, the easiest execution ever. But on the other side, we don't have anything like that. We have a Poppy that, I mean, look at this. It's like here, he has to, like, play it so well to, like, cancel, uh, what is it? The W from uh, Chovy. Anyway, T1 here on the Baron. I mean, that's pretty risky. Let's all group up for, like, value. Carrier just is annoying. We get the smite on Faker. Are we going to get away? No, no, we, we are not. I mean, Canyon here getting relatively low, but not all too low. Keen also now comes around. I mean, uh... I, 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 I mean, at least, hey, they don't have the Baron. We have it, right? Maybe Faker can do something here. He has the flash. So that should be Lance down. Faker, maybe he gets to auto attack a couple more. But no. Okay, now he gets it. Okay. Genji also a bit too greedy. But uh, again, for fuck's sakes, man. It's like, every, like you just ask like the average T1 fan on the internet after like the last couple of services. And they will tell you no blind TF because that's just stress inducing. And the other thing is we need CC, right? You need engage. Like, being able to have the agency on choosing your fights, right? Is so important. If you give all the agency to choose the fights to your opponent and don't have an adequate counter to them, like stylistically as a comp, then you're just not uh, doing well, right? That's why Talia comps can work out, right? Even though you give over maybe the agency to engage to your opponent, you still have like the best disengage, best disengaged champion of recent times, right? So that's that. I mean, again, same angle, what are we going to do? I mean, this time not too bad. Zeus though is getting completely one shot, whereas Lehans, like Pace just presses R and saves his life. I mean, decent old, but it's like, owner gets the smite, what a hero. But uh, yeah, for the sacrifice of two people and a good chunk of HP bars, right? Uh, it's just so difficult. It's just so difficult to play with these. It's not even like uh, the biggest of range disadvantages, right? Again, T1 has decent amount of effective range, but the problem is like what type of range it is, because not all range is made equal. Okay, like I mean, at this point, it's like okay, that is just uh, game fixing, no? I mean, what the fuck? Faker just scoops up the trash. Right, um, okay, you wouldn't scoop up trash into Guma's mouth, right? But he scoops it up into Guma's mouth. That was like two, uh, 100, 2,000 gold or something. I mean, that is just something else. Okay. But I don't think Genji realistically can do Baron, right? They, they, like, they can start, uh, start this objective. Okay, Corky, TP's in. Oh no. Okay, okay, Guma. Decent, decent. Poppy old, channeled. Gets the reset, gets the reset, right? You look at the cooldown, it's back up again. Oh no, Carrier, watch out, there are enemies! There are enemies! Carrier, watch out! Okay, okay! Auto attack cancelled by Fate's Call. That was on the knife, uh, Knife's Edge. Or on the Axis Edge. <laughs> Infinity Edge. <laughs> T1, no, 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 no! Hello! <laughs> Why are we starting the Baron? No! Guma, how do you get out of there? Oh, we get the spite, but Guma is caught and left in the pit. They can just shoot at him. He has to flash away. Owner doesn't want to flash. We get Baron for two and AD carry flash. That's not worth it. That's not worth it, I'd say. We lose mid lane turret. We lose soul, right? Because oh, dragon's just 25 seconds, maybe. We can defend it, right? Owner will be up just like a second later. Looking at the inventory, four items here on most relevant carries coming in. I mean, oh, flash forward by carrier, old as well. 
There's the flash. Chovy now caught. But owner also in a lot of danger. That's mid laner for jungler. Uh... I mean, one minute for Baron. I mean, this is just nothing really. Guma didn't lose anything there. We didn't miss anything. Okay. Chovy's flash though down. That is something. That is something. Uh, sadly, that owner also flashed. They're trying to live, right? Not really sure why you would do that. Same for Chovy, right? It's like there's no objective up in the jungle canyon. Oh my god. Guma forced to flash out before every anything even happens. What the fuck was that? Faker going for some crazy plays. Oh, 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 no, man. We get Flash and Zonias. But what was that Guma? That is the no man's land. That is literally... Oh, uh, no, we can say that. You can't go there. Never. Never. That is the most illegal territory an AD carry can ever path to, uh, like, through. When, I don't know, like, the game is not won. You are never allowed to go there. Never. Like, unless you know the enemy team is, like, two screens away. You are so vulnerable if you go through that. Anyway, behind my beautiful face, Jinchki has started the Baron. And uh, T1 here, we are putting a ward down. Now we are finding it out, but, uh, yeah. We are fucking around finding out with our pathing. We can't, no, 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 we can't burst Drake. What are we doing? Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop! What are you doing? Why are you giving up jungle control for nothing? Do you need everyone to hold a fucking mid lane wave? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Now they're going on to Zeus. I mean, Zeus, like, that guy had as much impact as a fucking, like, toenail in this game. It's like a great counter pick Aatrox. Fuck sakes. Oh man. Anyway, okay, now it's just all on the Ooga Booga. And uh, yeah, so game number one goes into the bin. We see each other in game number two. Uh, I mean, maybe Faker can make some magic happen. Gets a quadra kill out of nowhere. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, uh, Toby can't end on his own, right? Carrier just sends him straight back home, and uh, yeah, this game holds on. Elder has not been taken care of. Trophy can probably attempt to solo it. I mean, here Zeus like, bro, what is going on, man? You are just getting cooked by a jungler here. Sure, Pace was also there, but I mean, we're losing the fight beforehand. And again, caught trying to flank. Not his fault entirely, but that's also, also like champion slash draft problem. And I mean, like, uh, Carrier also looking for a flank. No one is like even like remotely standing in front of Duma. And here Faker, I mean, jeez, man. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? That guy just doesn't want to lose. I mean, hey, if you don't want to lose Faker, just go the easy way and just, like, please ask for playable drafts next time. Canyon here is in the area and he gets the smite. That is going to be so disastrous. We're burning down. No, no, no. And yeah, it was just delayed for like a couple more moments, but this drafting is just... Ah, uh, anyway, I think the games are playable. Uh, like, imagine if we swap Nautilus and uh, Poppy. Like, just imagine for a second, like, how much better the game would have been. How, how playable the game would have been. But, uh, yeah, now it's just, we needed so much effort to just even get to this point, And then we still get our fucking skulls smashed in repeatedly with a fucking sledgehammer. Or just with a normal fist, whatever. Uh, yeah, game number one, completely draft disaster. You can't do shit like that against a team like Gen.G. And uh, sadly, Gen.G seems to be like pretty on point today. Um, like, I wouldn't say T1 looks pretty shit, right? There was uh, the fear that they were like burned out and exhausted after uh, what happened yesterday, right? A long, drawn out four game series. But yeah, okay, game number one. Let's not talk about it. Let's just move in into the next one. Uh, so far, we can just say that the teams are neck on neck and fighting, fighting. Um, let's just maybe get like equal playing ground. It could have been better again if the lane swap didn't happen, but uh, yeah. what can we say? Game two. T1 fighting. Let's go. Woo! Uh, yeah, my friends. We need to. I need to calm down. 
Uh, I already know people are not going to agree with me and say like, oh no, Genji is just uh, built different and they are like the best team ever made and uh, like T1 has no chance and that's why they lost game number one. Ah uh, man, you're wrong. You're wrong. Let's see. In game number two, T1 will get the quick 3-1 uh, victory, right? Uh, yeah, similar issue here again. They have uh, Canyon and Lehens on like flash engage duty, whereas T1 wears our engage. Oh yeah, Carrier is going to be thrown in by Guma Yushi and then he's going to press his ultimate ability. Faker is going to activate the Shurima shuffle uh, skill line and uh, Onar is going to flash ult for like some insect and uh, yeah, Zeus is going to flank and like yeah, I mean sure all of that can work but um, uh, yeah, I don't even know man. Chobi and Pace are going to hold the door where uh, T1 will just look at them uh, yeah, quite scarily. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, Interesting, right? At least with the Aurelian Soul coming in, that's uh, an interesting pick. I mean, the hands. Not sure when the last time was when we saw any. It feels like not too long ago, but Rel, well, well, and Rel, well, Rel. Uh, oh wait, actually, Rel is now coming in. Uh, no, sadly, Guma can't do much, but still, we got the first blood carrier. Will he get away? It's like we should assume so. Uh, he doesn't have much mana. And I mean, he's looking for the flash away. Canyon doesn't really have that much damage, so oh, nice sidestep here. Uh, yeah, well done, well done. Uh, Carrier, what are you doing? You could just again another good sidestep, but bro. <laughs> and he hits him with the dancing. Okay, cool. Here, let's see. Pace in a lot of trouble. He should get knocked up and just slain very nicely and cleanly done. Finally, T1 gets uh, yeah on a positive momentum in these games here. Uh, we'll just have to keep it up, really. The arms race, the tank's arms race in top lane continues. Mid lane here, Faker made a bit of a sidestep for... Oh, okay. The hands here being fought out. Fast, her flash. Chovy has the big ult, so that's like something. Keen with the fast rotation, Faker has to flash away. Ult comes in and in the end, it's all very, very fucking cringe. Owner uses the right click ability though to get rid of the, uh, the dragon. Not that dragon, the other one. And oh my god, that nearly was ultra cringe. I, I, uh, yeah. Okay, so two for one. Oh, and I'm again aging like crazy. Oh man, it's like, what is this? Uh, take a pretty ballsy place. But in the end, Guma profiting with a 3 1 1 score line. Look away, the Ellipse is crazy, man. It's like, like Ocean Drake is the worst one, I think, uh, with these uh, like Drakes and Salts. Uh, yeah, he's just getting 100 to 0, like nothing. He didn't get to press any ability. That is unfortunate, right? Uh, and, and again, another 4 slash. Like, like three to many man play here. Uh, Zeus tries his best, but I mean, it's like doesn't even use the ghost. Like, do you want to get away or or not? What's the plan here? T1 like matching the turret take and using the herald to attack the inner turret, right? Even with Keen coming around, we should suspect that there's nothing really they can do. So turret for turret, but T1 takes an inner in trade for Zeus's life. Uh, but uh, yeah, now owner looking for some fancier plays. Baker puts down the bastion and calls for his friends to arrive. Uh, owner, yeah, looks like to be in trouble. Faker gets hit by the. Oh my god, Carrier with the three man pop blossom! And Keen also very, very fucking low. He gets away. What is this bullshit? Hi, yeah. Faker puts down the wall. And as such, they escape. Two for one. Cringe. Keen gets away with like 5 HP. You can't tell me Jonas Strong is not secretly coding the game to get his protect, uh, predictions right. Oh, and Zeus is like, he also, like, bro, you have ghosts, just run. Like, if you if he'd used ghosts early on, right, he could have just run away. But now, it's like, ah. Uh... Zeus in this series so far, not so good. With that favorable trades, Genji now uh, yeah, equalized the gold lead completely. Uh, Kenyon goes over. Can we punish that guy for, for, for like playing as aggro again? Maybe we can punish Keen? Hello? Something? No, oh great. We we actually used like our key ult before the fight. 
it's not that Genji didn't use anything, right? There's a flash on Kinego, uh, Gone, Canyon, Paste, like they're all also used, but uh, yeah, we are a bit more old reliant, I'd say, no? Like just a tiny bit more. Anyway, like, we can give it up, right? It's pretty meaningless, but it's like a soul point given over for free. That's not something that screams greatness and uh yeah okay okay uh we have a lot of troubling uh things here going on faker i mean he tries to old to keen but that's just not how that interaction works pace caught in the side so that's at least like a benefit maybe we can play without our faker guy decent play there by carrier and oh my god wonderfully done the hands will also fall that is four quick kills and a baron oh wait actually canyon is still alive uh maybe baron is a bit rough we have to trust in guma guma has like we have smite and we have rent there is no oh wait actually it's rel it's rel though uh, it's rel yeah it's rel uh zeus can you take care of that please like, Zeus just needs to run at her, right? Oh, we just turn? Yeah, turn is also good. Zeus, keep the objective aggro. Now there are, like, other enemies. <gasps> uh, not to mention also in 16 seconds, right? The next dragon. T1! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Um, we don't have to be all that honest with our approach. Hello. We have, like, Nico and shit like that. We, we are meant to be like sneaky and creatively. Oh no, 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 look at Lens. He's looking for a big, big play. Oh, he stood on a ward. Yeah, like, I can't see. But I also have only slept like five hours or so. So like you have to, uh, yeah, give me that. Baker pushes him away from mid. And now let's see Genji desperately hitting the Baron. Chovy has the big ult loaded up though. Okay, let's see. Objective bounties available. Okay, yeah, sure. 6,000 gold deficit and they get objective bounties. Hmm, sure. Mm. Do we trust an owner? I mean, Guma also has some spears in it. Okay, uh, that was something. We get the Drake. Our Santa is dead though. Guma is also dead. And uh, can I also die? I just really want to die. Uh, I mean, what was that? Like, we just stood in the face of the enemies and just took dick just took it really right in our face jesus christ what was the plan there there was no plan like whatsoever right just standing there and like trying to walk into genji okay it's like yeah get reverse reverse team fight uh, uh, we really need to get rid of paces uh oh it doesn't even matter faker finds azir's no matter what Still, we need to be careful. This Aurelian Soul guy, pretty dangerous. Ah, uh, uh, Look at this fucking E. Hello, Riot Games. What is that ability? Oh my God! Even with such a crisp, um, a crisp, a crisp engage, Gumayushi also falls down. I didn't even notice. Ethereno, Gumarino. Uh, yeah. I mean, Faker. He just really wants to put this fucking game into his fucking pocket. Oh my God. Oh. Do they know? Or maybe they know. Now they're rushing over, but the Baron should already be done, right? It's like, uh... Come on, owner. Yes, very nice. So we trade, uh, like, or again, another random-ass Drake for the Baron. Uh, we would all agree that this is a positive thing. What is not a positive thing is that what is happening in front of my eyes. Actually, Faker is there as well. I didn't even know. I was unfamiliar with your game. And T1, they knock down Chovy, who has been, I mean, like uh, the soul of this Genji lineup for, uh, I mean, for this game especially, right? Obviously, also due to his champion and like due to how like kill allocation went, etc, etc. But it's like with that, T1 should be able to finish the game. No, right? There's nothing stopping them now. T1 inside the base, Chovy is actually everything for this GNG line. Uh, I mean, again, in this game, like, this uh, Aurelian Soul is really everything. And, uh, yeah, 10 more seconds roughly till he respawns, but maybe there won't be a base left. Zeus chasing away pace. In the meantime, the Rel and the hands have already fallen. Ripperino, Onorino, Chovy comes back, but it surely won't be enough. Game number two goes for the T1 fighters. And uh, yeah, with a bit of a better draft, right? More agency, 
still very scary what is what was our realistic option here versus this Aurelian soul once he has scaled up the short answer is we had no answer to an scaled up Aurelian soul but we didn't let it get to that right we used our early game progress we actually got a laning phase head start right Genji this time not swapping around as such we can play these picks out that we drafted for the laning phase and win uh, early game snowball that and so on you just thought great game and uh, yeah T1 looking fierce but I mean this Genji roster please where are you when it's on the international stage where are you when it's against the LPL no you're just failing please like perform internationally as well as you do against us hi uh... anyway game number three it is let's go okay my friends I uh, I just don't know what to say I mean uh, it's like after all this time after all this time Aphelius Lulu for our enemies and we pick Lucian I mean, no we actually first pick Lucian on red side it's like oh yes we really want to make use of our counter pick ability for fuck's sakes anyway our top lane matchup this time should be a bit better right uh like the Zac really looked well to he got his um, Azir and Faker has uh, some rocks so like you know how it goes right uh, I don't know how, how does this thing go again it's like two birds with one stone uh, Genji only has one bird really so maybe we get one extra right uh, but yeah this time obviously this means Faker has uh, like the roaming ability Honor here finds Canyon, very nice, he chunks him out, but uh, there's not really much more gain. Actually, he's chasing him all the way, there's no one really helping him, that will be a free flash, no? Uh, even with the flash, he gets some flash for flash, oh no, with the first blood, he really gets Canyon's mark. Uh, best, uh, best jungler who? Best jungler who? Uh, yeah, not too surprising, right? Owner is uh, yeah pretty good and... Uh, like, played well uh, against this uh, canyon guy a couple of times now he comes in uh, skill shots are being dodged and uh, yeah it's just rough it's just so rough I mean how happy am I to see Lucian uh, me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. owner helps with uh, pushing in the wave but in the meantime canyon already on the map invading stealing jungle camps just like yeah our first pick Lucian champion needs to be bailed out by our jungler <laughs> yeah we are not actually clinically insane and delusional as fuck we are just picking Lucian army that is not the same thing we're also losing grubbies for free <laughs> yeah oh man it's just so silly anyway let's see does something come of this I don't think so maybe Get a flash. Faker's also here, okay. Uh, gets the kill. Faker gets it, okay. Reasonable decision. Okay, again, we can be happy about that, but that has nothing to do with Lushinami, so it's not bailing out that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting me with that one. Okay, now Faker here in trouble. He gets to flash away, but is it going to be enough? The tidal wave just comes a moment too late. Kenyon will fall down here, giving a kill over to Guma. But uh, yeah, it seems like we might give it up. What is the plan, right? Everyone recalling, but they all have TP, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just see Guma hit him up. Wow, crazy. Owner gets the smite though, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, what can happen here? Can Zeus get away? He still has the flash. He doesn't elect to do it. I mean, probably was marked by Keen anyway. It's like, oh, my bad, my bad. Keen flashed onto Guma. I didn't spot that again. It's like we are all here, um, but yeah, obviously then there's not much like he can do. Um, also aggressive flash by Kenya uh, by Chobi. So yeah, aggressive summon spell usage from Genji leads them to win this team fight. Um, but uh, yeah, first blood turret also now uh, collected by them. Ah, rough. Seeing that there is a herald. That is being taken care of. Maybe we can do something, but it might just look like we just give it over. Are oh, surrendering the minions as well and still going for the fight. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I just love the amount of damage our team does. Um, spoiler, it's zero. Um, 
Okay, Faker puts down the wall. Does that defend the turret? No, sadly it does not. Uh, yeah, last time he put down the wall with the Azir, at least that worked out somewhat, but... Uh, yeah. Tank Azir, Tank Sajani, Tank uh, Rek'Sai, all these tanks and like T1 doesn't have the damage just yet. Like imagine if we had actually an AD carry that does damage or has range or scales well. We have neither. Chovi, what is that TP? I mean, at least he dodges the bubble, but the shove is not enough. Faker has turned aggro though. He gets executed. That's the end goal. Do we have enough damage? Hello? Okay, one goes down. Hans, like, somehow appears here. Keen, will he get away? The answer is yes. So it's a one for one. But Faker gets executed. But Genji also gets the Drake. So uh, actually, we pick up the turret as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, Faker going for the more defensive build here. Uh, instead of Leandris, he goes for the Xerath's, um, but uh, my man. Oh, yeah, mm, the solution. He nearly one shot at the Lulu through old, but now there's Faker. There's the tidal wave. Faker throws some rocks at him, gets the shot onto pace as well. Get that guy. Short Guma will fall. Uh, and it's. Two, okay, T1, can we get something? Shove onto pace, but that's not enough. Weird old angles all left and right, and it's okay, Chovy into the... I just don't know, man, so much CC, so much bouncing, but T1 in the end win the fight. Only the fucking shit Lucian goes down, and T... Not Guma, right? The champion. And T1 with some nice cuts. Oh, God, Baron time it is. Let's go, let's go, T1, T1. Nice. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Obviously, two minutes. Oh my. Oh my. Counter engage though. Let's see. That pace. Absolutely executed. Lululu also dead. Keen shoved to the side. And Chovy and friends have to scramble away. Two quick pickups on the bot lane uh, of Genji. Exactly. That's how you say it. And okay, okay, Chovy with some dancing, but is it going to be enough? Nami holds him in place. There's the CC. Chovy, I can't breathe, I can't move. And that's where he falls under his turret. T1, take him down and take the turret right after. Three quick plays. Ah, uh, Fuyo, T1. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about the items and like Zonias's and stuff, but let's just say stuff is available. Some of the spells on Genji aren't. Let's go. Genji, they're panicking. They're going in. Faker scoots in uh, pretty aggressively. I mean, mid laners here partially being traded. No, Faker gets away. Oh no, with the smite as well. Ripperino for the dear fish. But Guma will finally do something. Yeah, it's like the moment an, an opponent nears. Okay, at least Ona will sacrifice himself for uh, for Guma. Soul also connected as an afterthought. Obviously, it's not the most important one, but still something. And uh, yeah, this Zeus guy, just look at him. Like, he's standing there menacingly. But uh, especially... Okay, Faker. Uh, uh, for fun gaming here. Um... Yeah, probably misclicked his ultimate, that's what we should assume. Uh, yeah, giving some gold over to Pace, like stopping the Baron buff play, that is a big error from uh, from the man. Okay, the hands get chunked, there's the tidal wave, there's the wall. Keen just gets melted to bits, like even now, it's just not enough, man. There's no objective sadly for us to immediately collect. But uh, maybe we can look threateningly into Genji's eyes and they will just roll over, right? There's uh, Zek jumping in. What are you doing? Okay, flash here and flash there. I mean, what the hell is all of this shenanigans? We will just brute force our way in, get Chovy's flash as well while we're at it. And uh, yeah, take your inhibitor, smack your girl on the cheek and uh, just, uh, yeah, we'll see each other in 30 seconds with the next Baron. Bye bye, Genji. Like, you can't say, uh, yeah, like every, like, stuff that happens with the Ruler Peanut roster or, like, the, uh, like, the Pace roster from last year or whatever, uh, like, is equal to this. Oh my god, Faker gets the shove onto Chovy and that should be it! Chovy, I mean, he goes for one Hail Mary play, right, but that is, uh, yeah, free Baron and 
That should translate into Elder as well. Chovy will be dead and without TP at that point. Oh my god, T1 has like now such an easy avenue. Faker, oh my god. He aims at him and then... What did I say, right? One stone, two birds, two birds, one stone, whatever it is. Faker just kills all the birds, right? He puts the birds down, man. Endangered species. Obviously, the follow-up from the team is good and... Yeah, basic stuff, but great. Great! Oh, that's Faker's grandma! Oh, so wholesome. Keen again is dancing with owner. But Genji is already at the objective there. Is the Zeko though? I don't think he has been spotted. Well, it got regardless. Let's just see. Oh my, oh my, that's actually not the greatest of plays. Owner decently low, as is Keen. Zeus is just dancing on pace. Will something happen? He gets the smite this time! Very nice! And that should be the last remnants of Genji falling. Only the Lululu is trying to get away. In the meantime, our minions are already right at Hatos off. Oh, nice performance by the T1 fans. We're doing some movement like that. Not sure if that's all that smart in Germany, but regardless, T1 gets onto the match point. 2 1 the lead! Just one more game, and T1 will be champions once more. Let's go into. Yeah, set game number four. Let's go! T1 fighting! Let's go into this last game here of our LCK Spring Finals. It's going to be amazing. Look at this draft, man. It's like... I don't even know, man. Crazy picks there. Void and star power from Genji with the Aurelion and the Kha'Zix. Uh, interesting where they're going to get. We have also successfully mind controlled Genji once more. They first picked the Kalista. That's something that we taught them. And now they also think that Lucian is actually a champion. Very nice. And now we're going to show them actually how it works. If you pick, uh, yeah, <laughs> like Azir and the uh, Aphelios Lulu now in our hands. Just crazy. Owner still just smurfing on the Sinjao champion. It's going to be lovely. Uh, and uh, I mean, Zeus. <sighs> some Gwen gameplay finally let's go yeah only owner has so far realized that the Sinjao is uh, OP uh, obviously my preferred pick is the Sinjao support uh, Sinjao support season 5 that was the that was the shit <laughs> regardless we got free heal here we deny some minions uh, Lushinami kick W kick W like yeah Cassante dealing with this way easier than like other champions right he's still Cassante right you can't dive that guy he's too broken um, still, uh, yeah. he obviously has a bit of an easier time, whereas Zeus, I mean, uh, with Faker here, like, maybe they get something. Faker forces out the flash, I mean, now there's the dragon though. Run Zeus, run! Oh no, little Gwenny. Flashes forward, Faker though picks up the first blood, two for two, uh, Chovy also has to flash away. So, 2 for 2 with flashes gained in a 2 versus 4. Ah, man, I would de install. Uh, at least Chovy gets away, right? But oh my, oh my. That was quite something. Ah, actually, Genji not looking too bad, right? Pace with the completed item. Same for Chovy. Also, he has the big old faker chunked. Uh, maybe that's a, that's a Genji moment, but. I mean, I don't know if owner like has something to say about that one. Cassante TP is in. At this point, I think we should just give it, right? Let Gwen take some plates. There's no one with TP. Gwen will... I mean, she doesn't have too many items, but... Should be able to get at least something. Snip faster, little one. Oh man, Gwen is so cute. Uh, okay, just one plate. Uh, he could have Chovy TPs into bot lane to guarantee... Uh, first blood turret, right? Owner though with the turret, uh, with the herald. Nah, we we're not getting first blood turret like at all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Faker will pick up something here in top lane. So uh, yeah, I mean, giving Faker gold after the series he's had so far. I mean, hey, I'm all for it, right? Uh, not too bad here. Big ult comes in. Guma, oh, like. Ay, 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 man, the disrespect of this T1 lineup, they just take it all. I mean, that's like three ults used for two flashes, and they chunked out our turret. 
So, uh, big double there for the Gengiers, no? Okay, next Drake has spawned T1. Again, even in gold with our enemies here. Uh, we're scaling nicely, but we don't have flashes on our bot lane. So that's a bit of an issue. Genji this time, they don't have as much CC, but they're still a pretty gross comp. Uh, T1 here looking for a cross map with the inner turret, but there's Keen, so I don't really know. I think we're just giving up a Drake for no reason at all. But I, I can get the angle of, hey, let's just scale maybe a bit more. Scale a bit more. Okay, owner here in a bit of trouble. He gets 1v1 by the Kha'Zix and, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's like not much owner can do, right? It's like you're not getting away once you've, uh, yeah, face, uh, face checked uh, into the Kha'Zix, right? But, uh... Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Faker Flash now as well. Uh, hello? Stop! Stop! Uh, yeah, T1. I mean, maybe we have, like, scaled enough. Maybe we can, like, now be competent. Zeus, hello, watch out. Carrier also low. Hello, Baron is up now. And, like, this uh, dragon has this Leandres. So now with a bit of a gold deficit after like some sloppy moments, uh, let's see, Faker here, is he going to be in trouble? I mean, Canyon, okay, owner, bit of a frontline, nice stopwatch there by Faker in the side. Oh, bot lane also in trouble, but Zeus has arrived and he's snip snip. Someone down, Chobi though, still does so much damage. Uh, and uh, yeah, like fuck. It's like we're getting like completely schooled. Our bot lane loses their summoner spells uh, again. Uh, like Faker has to use Zonia's owner also has to use Flash. It's like I don't know. I mean, at least Canyon died, so that means like there's no Baron angle. But Gwen is literally the only champion. I mean, it's not only. Oh no! Oh no! 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 There's no way Carrier was not in range to ult. No. Oh my fucking god, I am getting every disease in the known fucking dictionary. Oh no, and now like giving this Drake, giving this Drake. Oh no, we can scale. Oh no, we fight next time. Right? We had such a good like uh, position. And then what did we do with it? Nothing. We gave over more and more time. We waited for Genji to pick their fights, right? We were just dicking around. And it's like, oh yeah, Genji, you want to play? Okay, yeah, Genji, do what you want. Okay, Genji, do what you want. We completely rolled over after our like successful early game, and just uh, yeah, gave Genji uh, the right to rule, right? And like now, it's like yeah, sure. This uh, the big concern is like how stuff like that is legal, right? He just walks at them. Yeah, just barely not in range fold, I think. But uh, crazy, man. Cassandra surely is a cool champion. He just presses Ghost and runs at our AD carry under turret. Hmm. Seems like a well-designed uh, champion. And uh, yeah, now they're just absolutely destroying this Baron, right? We're TPing in, but the objective is already down. What the fuck is that call? I just... Oh, man. I need to put any scissors away from myself because I'm just going to cut my eyes out of my fucking skull. Big ult comes in. And Jesus Christ, I mean, no, Keen is not falling down, Faker here f goes in for a flash ult play, but uh, like, yeah, we, we just lost the game. Just, no. Fuck. What happened? What happened 10 minutes ago? Did someone write in all chat, T1, I have your family hostage, please don't do anything? And then, like, afterwards, like, getting into such a situation now, it's just, like, <sighs> the natural consequence, right? It's like, a Aurelian Soul got to, like, free farm and stack up. Like, sure, we scale well, but it's like, if we give them everything, then we don't. If we give them every Drake, then we don't. And now, 8,000 gold deficit. How are we going to approach this uh, Aurelian Soul? Not with our uh, Merc Tread Sinjao, right? Definitely not. And it's like, Zeus, please, do something, right? <laughs> My god, man. 1-3-1, one, one. T1 only 3 kills, right? After, like, I mean... 
for long goo, but desperation as he steps up to the Gen Z members who are trying to put an end to this game. I mean, I, ca I just can't believe what I'm fucking seeing. It's just... Yeah, at this point, it's now too late. Like, could have maybe, like, fought fucking 10 minutes earlier to 15... No, no, fuck it, fuck it. Like, next game, next game. Okay, uh, we're in game number 5 now, like, for some fucking reason. I... I, I'm so, so unbelievably angry right now. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, grr, Like, I'm so fucking pissed. And now in game, in the last game, it's like, we have again picked Lucian Nami. Well, I guess Lucian Nami won for us. We lost versus Lucian Nami. I guess Lucian Nami is actually good. Hmm. What was it called? Uh... Uh, not results based analysis, but outcome resulting analysis or whatever they called it on the LCK broadcast. Whatever it is, I just want to shoot myself up in a fucking cabin. Anyway, Faker with his classic Oriana, it's surely going to work out well versus the poke of Chovy. What is actually our answer? I mean, at least Zeus is on the only champion so far that he had any impact with in the series. Um, I mean, the Cassante was alright, but I mean, it's like. He, like, he, he didn't play the, like, was he even in the series so far? I have not seen him. Uh, owner's win rate on Sin Chao got destroyed. I mean, also to, like, some fault of his own. Um, I mean, I'm just so angry. And now, like, Zack has to play against Poppy. Well, I, I, I thought Poppy was useless. No, Poppy's not useless. Poppy is useless if you pick her against champions that want to stand up all the way over there and just throw shit into your face. Then Poppy is useless, right? But Poppy versus like dash champions, shorter range champions that dash in as Zach. Yeah, that's where like she can get to cook. Face dashed forward, so we get at least a flash for flash here, but uh, that's like also about it. Faker here getting mm, slammed into a wall, but not into a wall. What am I even saying? Uh, regardless, just gets a bit chunked there. Like the one time our draft is like all right, right? It wasn't perfect, but it was all right. Like they just sit there and just watch and it's like at like some point it's like, okay, yeah, we can give over one objective for gold uh, and let the Aurelian skate. Okay, what is this like skirmish here? Owner should always get away here. No. Uh, well, I guess not. And that's the first but over to Kobe's pocket. I'm so fuming with anger. I mean, it's not anger. I mean, it's anger and disappointment, sadness, right? It's like that last game was so easily winnable, but uh, it's like, I don't know, where did our confidence go, right? I mean, maybe we actually were too confident, right? Letting, oh yeah, Aurelion, take this. Oh yeah, let's take, let's give them that as well. Ah, let's actually, we don't need to fight yet. We don't need to fight yet. And like every time giving something up, every time giving Genji the agency over the map, uh, I, I need to focus on this game now and leave the other game in the past. Zeus here, uh, passive proc. Is he going to die immediately after? Oh yeah, obviously, Cassante. Oh my god, that champion does balance damage. Flash for flash and mid lane with Faker being lower. Uh, not what we want to see, but uh, it could be worse. But uh, I mean, Zeus, I mean, it's like that guy is like, I mean, did he get any sleep? Like, did he sleep as much as I did? At least bot lane, we are ahead by, what is that, uh, 7 CS, that's a wave, that's like something, but two kills, and I mean, Faker is in danger as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, Faker no flash. Decent old owner, are you looking to, like, block anything here? Okay, okay, there's carry as well, hello! I mean, they really wanted to give Faker the kill, but that was quite dangerous. Anyway, okay, no flashes or something used. They knew better than I did and played it calmly and got something. Okay, T1 actually putting in some effort to get some grubbies. Um, obviously, with that, Canyon now can go into bot lane and as such, Haze will finally get some TS. I mean, yes, crawled back uh, nicely. Sure, if T1 gets the entire wave, that is... Not too bad. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, come on. That is a giga cringe. As if that was in range to hit uh, our man carrier into the wall. I don't agree. I don't agree. Right games, investigate, please. Okay, next dragon spawning in just a couple of seconds. Genji already added, right? There's the package for the Corky. He rushes in. 
T1 here, I mean Faker has the TP, but like it seems that we've given up, right? Yeah, okay, we have given up. Faker still TPs into mid lane, so at least there's like something, but not not really, right? Oh no, Zeus, watch out! No, no, no! Man, you can't tell me you're getting solo killed twice now. You are just... It's like... I'm like holding back on words, right? Because we want to be kind. But what the fuck, man? You're not beating the allegations of anything. Uh, and again, at least this means that the gold lead becomes ever more... Uh, like untrustworthy right due to the gold on Kazante but then you realize oh wait sure it's gold on a tank but it's gold on a completely uh, well designed tank right like a tank that is um, very well balanced and designed maybe owner and faker can set up something interesting here Joby just goes forward and yeah faker gets a shitload of damage into his face uh, that's exactly what we wanted to see Next Drake has spawned, Zack is in the area, and T1 uses a Faker is in the Herald! What is he doing? Another... Like, it probably is a misclick, right? There's no way Faker really wanted to take that. Oh, uh, yeah, T1 uh, eyeing this mid lane turret. At least Faker's worthy sacrifice put some damage onto it. It's going to fall down. Okay, that's at least something. 21 minutes. Uh, what about a Baron here at this point? No? Yeah, surely a Baron here is the, is the call of against uh, all this AoE like, damage from Gen G. Looks like we're getting chased around, Faker, I mean, might get away, but what about Zeus, he has to flash away, he uses his ult, he, yeah, flash ult used just right before the next objective. Is Genji eyeing the Baron? Let's not be too greedy there, no? Like, you have soul up and available, you should not do some stupid stuff like that. Okay, pretty nice posturing here. Zeus TP's in, yeah, as expected, Chobi has the package and... Look at the gold lead this man also has, like, obviously, like, way easier time to CS. Guma, oh, pfft, oh man, solution champion, like, get from our champion. Like, no flash, no cleanse, no nothing, surely, hence, no flash, to burst, but, like, yeah, what a worthwhile trade. Uh, and, yeah, next, like, the Drake is, like, getting shredded to pieces, owner, no way to, to access yet, but let's believe in owner, right? Kamikaze style attack with Chobi, will it work out? So far the answer is yes. Zero solo. Owner at least gets this mine. That's so important. As long as we are not getting like slaughtered here. Owner yeah, will fall. That's too dead. And not sure if Chobi picked up both of them, but sure looked like it. And that's not a positive thing because again we have no answer to this poke because we have elected Lushinami again. Short range champions. Oh yeah, Faker, just say hi to Keen. That champion is 10 years uh, younger than you are. Pretty well designed, if you ask me. Okay, Faker might look for a trade, but actually that should work out well. I mean, he probably will get solo killed by Keen, no? Uh, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen here. Canyon, where is Carrier aiming at? But uh, yeah, as expected, Faker here will be... Uh, Collected. Maybe in the aftermath or in the chaos we can get something done. Quite rough. Faker ugh, has to invest the flash again. It's like, why are you doing that? Just die. Just die. Why would you flash away? That's the same thing from what was game number one, I think. I just don't even know. Whatever. Why flash? What does living does do for you? Like, now you don't have flash for the next, uh, like, dragon fight. Which again is soul for Genji. And it's like Corky, Zeri, with Inferno Soul. Like at that point, we might as well just like. I don't know, Fountain Dive IRL. He was holding up the charge, but it's like. Can we go in? No, actually, Pepe, Poppy will press W, so uh, yeah, cool Zack champion there. I'm so angry because I can already like hear the deep throating of uh, like Chovy in this uh, series. And. I'm not like he, he has not even played like bad or anything like that, but hello, 
what were like like his champions were like such insane spots uh like at any points like oh yeah what is corky like afraid of in this game like uh, yeah like can you man can you name it I, like i can't like that guy has a flash and a w for like basic anything and then if Zeus or like someone else actually wants to go at him like if canyon doesn't press w it's like that guy needs to have his hand cut off so uh it's like no threat whatsoever on him while also genji has many other threats that even create freedom for him right and like uh, again a similar thing can be said for like the Aurelian soul game it's like oh yeah we're just trancing la 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 having a good time and it's like yeah what is the enemy going to do against my Aurelian soul base? nothing anyway so here soul point again the situation for genji and again uh Oh, owner got knocked away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't even know what to say here. Owner now is like trying to dance, but sure. Nice. Uh, why aren't we flashing away from that? Hello? No one knows. Okay. What is our actually engage option against this? Oh, actually, we don't know. It's like it seems like these guys have not learned anything from the past six games that we have played, uh, 10, 20 games that we have played, right? It's it's unbelievably crazy. Okay, Zeus here with a flash in engage play, but it's like, what do we do? Where's the follow up? Our follow up is all the way like somewhere else. At least, uh, yeah, he didn't die. But I mean, I guess we got some sums from Pace. We didn't even have to talk about Pace so far this entire game, right? Because, like, there's no need for it, right? Pace is just there, like, as an insurance policy. Our entire comp identity. Kenyan pressing W counters it all. And Chovy just existing, pressing R a couple of times. is already, like, a strategy that we can't counter. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, what it looks like if people actually draft like shit. And other people actually know what drafting looks like. And that, sadly, is the, uh, like, result of Genji versus T1. Or like many 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 matches p1 drafting is one of their weakest parts and genji's drafting and macro is one of their strongest parts not saying that they can't play ball but uh knowing how to pick champions is just uh usually the way they win right and now okay yeah let's walk into this like question is okay where is the any we've spotted the any and next question is how do we approach chobi the answer is probably we can't um I mean, yeah, like he has, what is it, seven rockets or something, right? He can just throw out shit and like at, like at some point something will hit. Keen actually gets one shot. That is huge though. Pace old procs. Can we do something? Uh, that flow there. Okay, that was our AD carry who just got evicted by Canyon. It's like, again, T1, man, they have to like... You know these memes, right, of people in the gym, like, training with, like, the training equipment itself? Or, like, having other people punch them while training or something? That's just T1 in these games, right? Because we self-sabotage us in the pick and ban phase so much that we actually have to do, like, I don't know, push-ups without, like, arms, right? We have to mentally envision us, like, being lifted on, the, on top of the ground. Nice Baron pick up here, and, uh, yeah, the crowd goes wild. Woo hoo! Sometimes I wish I would not know uh, about like champions and drafting or something like that because then like these games would probably be like way more interesting and way more positive, right? Because you would be uh, like looking for positivity, but right? I'm just here like in despair all the time because I see T1 with a shitty comp having to play the game in extra hard mode against a team like Gen G that has soul. Uh, like I don't even know what we're supposed to do with this Baron buff. Like who attacks turrets? Let's ignore that. T1 got Baron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, very nice off Genji. They let us take at least one inner turret. But yeah. Now, what now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing really. Uh, well, again, the gold leads and all of that stuff. It's like 2000, not being 2000. Even if it was 5000 or something like that, it wouldn't really matter. Because again, it's a compositional identity crisis that he won't have. Um, actually, we don't even need to use such fancy words. Corky go brr with rockets. T1 try to jump in. Canyon press W, and that's how it goes. Corky nearly level 18, 
nearly full build. He has the GA now as well. Oh my, oh my. Three GAs actually. Owner, Pace and the Chovy have all elected that shit. Okay, they just barge into us. Let's see. So far, so good. Chovy decently low. Who is that? Owner is respawning. Oh no, Cassante is doing Cassante things. And that is our AD carry in shambles. You have to understand what just happened. They really just looked at us. Like, like we have our like vision contest right now. And they just ran at us. That is what happened just now. Corky just ran at us. Right? Uh, Faker here. Dancing quite cutely. Uh, Genji looking to finish. And I mean, they have the damage. But 20 seconds? Uh, oh no, Faker gets spotted and his recall cancelled. No way, we're actually losing here, no? 15 seconds. We're losing Elder and uh, like that is very problematic. But look at this! They actually just look us in the eyes and say like, yeah, like fuck you. And I mean, surely they somewhat get punished for him. Like if Chovy dies here, goes into GA, uh, like maybe it's not that bad. Anyway, Elder now. Oh, one minute and nine, eight, seven seconds. Uh, yeah, last time I talked about Elder. That was the Hangul Life series, so let's just hope we're not getting close to that. Faker tries to ult something, just doesn't hit too much of anything. Kisante again does the strategy of just walking at us! He walks at us! Riot Games, are you seeing this? That fucking disgusting champion walks at a late game 40 minute team and they have to scramble they can't damage him right he just gets barely to a half hp that guy is on three items and is tankier than all of t1 combined well i guess keen is just a good player right i guess that's the that's the narrative that we are going on with this okay so now baron also for gen g at least elder has run out Oh man, there's so much broken stuff on this Genji lineup, right? Zeri, Kisante, and they also had Elder Dragons. Like, so much shit that just needs to be removed from the game. And let's check one comp. If they also had Smolder. Jesus. Okay, anyway, another disaster in the making. Chobi is picking up his package, and I mean, there are like three turrets left. You know how that goes, right? He's going for another kamikaze attack straight up into our towers. And uh, it's like, what is going T1 going to support, uh, like to do? Right? I mean, we're surely going to uh, like use our engage tools. Oh wait, what engage tools? Uh, luckily that we've drafted such a formidable comp. And yeah, the next turret falls. There are still uh, many, many seconds left. 70 or like 66 seconds rather now left on the Baron buff. And uh, yeah, I mean, they, they can just use the strategy they used before, right? The walking strategy. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Zeus here tries his best. He's, I mean, still living. Owner is in his guardian angel, and uh, yeah, no pace goes in for the Zeri moment. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to slip my wrists. And uh, yeah, Genji manages to get the four peat uh, by heavy assistance of uh, like inside jobs. It seems in the T1 drafting department. I mean, but that's not uh, not nothing here. I mean, it's like yeah, I mean for fuck's sake. I mean, there were many like mistakes right faker with like two big misclicks one actually like resulting in a disastrous game state other one with the telly old not being as bad uh but yeah this is uh yeah just very just very fucking sad i mean like i guess gg to genji but i mean ah man it just feels so shit if you just load into games and just can't win then you play so much i mean can we say better? I don't even know, right? At least they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with like such disadvantages from the drafting position. That just speaks for T1's ability to play. But it's like, why again? It's like the story as old as T1 themselves, really. It's like, why are you just picking yourself into these shitty positions? And it's like, I've taken off the headphones because I can't deal with this nonsense of like them fucking probably gurgling on like, oh yeah, Keen and Chobi, they are playing so well. It's like for fuck's sake, like, can we please talk about how like first of all Kassante is not well designed. It's like, like we have seen not only Keen but other play players do this shit as well. I mean, it's like we saw Zeus doing it the, like the same thing in, uh, in the previous game in the series. It's like how can a champion just walk at five people and like CC and just damage them to death while like not taking any damage? How is that good gameplay design? And uh, and then again, it's like for like 
how many games in the series, like even with T1 winning, right, it was a 3-2 nail biter, you could say, in the end. Uh, it's like, with how many games do we give Gen G champions uh, that heavily leverage range? And it's like, we already know what the answer to that is. We have figured it out. We have picked it in the past. We have been destroyed by these picks in the past as well. It is just easy engage and CC tools. But what do we do? We not elect them. We pick Lucian Nami, short range fucking idiots that offer nothing besides damage, uh, which they can't apply. It's like great. It's like, and that's how Genji, right? I mean, I, I'm not saying they didn't get challenged by us, right? Again, three two, and like they had to hit their skill shots, I guess. But that's why Genji just like gets destroyed internationally because like they can get away with like murder in this pick and ban phase here. That's not how this phrase works, right? But, uh, right? Because, like, other teams, really, the LPL, for example, they won't just go, oh, you pick full range? Yeah, let's pick, like, melee champions with no engage, right? Like, no other team in the world besides T1, really, will do that. And as such, Genji will always have such an easy time versus T1 because they will always naturally get draft advantages. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, hey, anyway. I mean, it's hard to be not a sore loser when you see your team self-sabotaging. Um, I mean, Gen G played well. I mean, it's like it's, it feels so silly to say that. Obviously, Gen G played well. Obviously, T1 played well. It's a final of the LCK that went to five games. What am I supposed to say? Oh, Gen G just got here by luck? No, obviously not. But let's talk about the things that like aren't being talked about. It's like, are we going to talk about, oh yeah, they, they they did good last hitting, or they moved well around the map? It's like something that we need to say. Maybe some people need to hear it, but then like you are on the wrong channel for that. Anyway, like I mean, hey, big congratulations, like especially for Keen, like long time choker in the seam, uh, and uh, even though Zeus like completely like swam in his own shit today, uh, like Keen played this top lane matchup really well. Like, uh, when we panned towards the laning phase in the top lane, right, he just was completely shitting all over Zeus. And again, it was a completely invisible performance today, uh, besides, like, some moments in the Zac game, in the first Zac game, right, that he played. Um, right, uh, really top, uh, top gap there, so that's at least something that we can say. Uh, at least in the laning phase, right? That's where like top gap comes from. And then, like, later on, like, Zeus himself just being completely invisible. Uh... Yeah, that's also something like Ona played the series out really well. Yumayoshi, we can at least say he tried his best. Faker, again, unfortunate that he had these two misclicks, but besides that, I mean, his Talia was crazy. But then it's like Carrier is on fucking Poppy game number one versus a complete range comp, and then it's like two games of Nami. It's like the the best game that T1 had was the game where we drafted the most like T1-esque comp, right? With like wild stuff going like through different avenues. That's the game, right? Where we looked the best. Every other game, we tried to go for like some uh, complete nonsense. Again, Lush Nami, I will never forgive that shit. Anyway, at least Genji T1 make it to MSI again. But it's like Genji, like they should like, ho I hope Genji is not screaming us because like they're not going to learn anything from us. Uh, besides, maybe like getting to play mechanically, but like they should ask other teams like uh, for like drafting wars or something like that. Because like the inability for T1 to draft is like this course will always be with us. I think. Anyway, I mean they managed to get a four P done. Pretty impressive. Not gonna lie. Um, again on uh, like different iterations so it's like good for the genji organization it's great for chovi who's been there all along um a repeat for pace right it's like pretty impressive uh, even though what did this guy do in the series i mean i guess he didn't in so that's a positive right such a stacked environment not uh being uh noticeably uh or not being noticed by poor performance being invisible uh, doesn't even have to be all that bad, right? Anyway, congratulations, I guess, has to be said, uh, right? That's why they are our fierce rivals. Uh, we will get at you at MSI, right? You get these, like, LCK titles, cool, right? We would have liked it, but, uh, yeah. 
you you can take that we will get the next international event uh yeah anyway hope you enjoyed uh, this uh yeah pessimistic disaster of a reaction video but anyway if you did uh, slap a like button and maybe leave some positive comments and uh some copium for t1's future uh yeah it will be much appreciated yeah many other bangers today um Maybe we will see some other reactions. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, we will see each other soon. Bye bye, my friends.